Pregnancy and birth are normal physiological processes in a woman's life. Despite this, maternity care is often over-medicalised, leading to more interventions in pregnancy and birth than is often necessary. And this may lead to poorer outcomes for mothers and babies. As soon as you find out you're pregnant, or if you're planning to conceive, you should consider your options of healthcare provider and what maternity care is available in your area. We really want women to be informed and prepared so they can be active and empowered partners through their pregnancy. So what care do you need through pregnancy? Throughout pregnancy, you have a choice of regular visits and assessment with a midwife, a GP, or an obstetrician, and they will provide care, support, and information so you can make choices that are right for you. These visits will help you plan for the birth, prepare for motherhood when you bring your baby home. The visits will also help to identify any potential challenges that may arise. So what models of maternity care are available? In Australia, maternity care is very fragmented and that makes it difficult to navigate. Researching your options to ensure that you receive the care that meets your needs is really important. Not all models of care will be available in all areas, but we do know that the care provider can have a large impact on the pregnancy, birth and postnatal experience. The main models of care in Australia are GP shared care, private obstetrician care, care through a public hospital by midwives and doctors, and continuity of midwifery care. With GP shared care, you can see your GP for most of the pregnancy, and you might see an obstetrician or a midwife at the hospital a couple of times. Some women prefer this option, especially if they've already have a long-standing relationship with their GP. But within this model, you will not know the midwife you have during labour and birth, and follow-up postnatal checks will be likely done by a different midwife. If your GP identifies any challenges or complications, your care may be transferred to a hospital and you'll be seen by an obstetrician. With private obstetric care, you can see the same obstetrician all the way through your pregnancy and you may choose to birth in a private hospital. Your obstetrician may or may not be available during your labour and birth and you will not know the midwife who provides the majority of care during labour and birth. You can also access care through your public hospital and the visits will be with a midwife and or a doctor. It is unlikely you will see the same midwife or doctor at each visit and you'll probably have different caregivers for your labour and birth and after the baby is born. Whereas continuity of midwifery care is a model where you build a partnership with your midwife and you see them all the way through your pregnancy and they'll care for you during labour and birth and up to six weeks after the baby's born. This service may be available through your local hospital and it's often called a midwifery group practice or it's available with midwives who work within their own private practice. At Griffith University, we offer continuity of midwifery care through our midwifery student-led clinics at our Gold Coast campus. Women and their support people can attend the visits at the clinic and be seen by the same expert midwifery lecturer and midwifery student, which is bulk billed through Medicare. The midwifery lecturer and the student will provide support, information and care throughout the whole pregnancy and up to six weeks after the baby's born. The student also provides care during labour and birth. We know that continuity of midwifery care has positive outcomes for mothers and babies. These outcomes include fewer interventions during labour and birth, which includes less pain relief, less forceps or vacuum births or caesarean sections. And women are more satisfied and feel more respected in this model of care. This is really important as in Australia up to one in three mothers experience their birth of their baby as traumatic. This may be due to physical trauma or pain or emotional distress where women often report not feeling heard or respected. Midwifery continuity of care also reduces the chance of having a premature baby or a stillbirth. Midwives specialise in caring for healthy women during pregnancy, labour and birth and in that transition to parenthood. And so they have a wide spectrum of experiences, but they also have the skills to identify any variations and they can consult and refer to other health professionals where needed. Midwives believe that pregnancy and birth are normal processes in a woman's life and that interventions are not normally required for healthy women. 
So what pregnancy complications require intervention? When you first access maternity care, midwives will undertake a comprehensive assessment to identify any current or potential health challenges that may require additional care. Midwives follow a referral and consultation guideline and will collaborate with other health professionals like doctors, obstetricians, physiotherapists to support you during these times. Through these assessments, we can identify the possible chance of a preterm birth, stillbirth or preeclampsia, which may lead to placental dysfunction. If a higher chance of these is found, further assessments and treatments can be instigated. So what general care do you need during pregnancy? If you have no complications in your pregnancy, midwives will be the main health professional who will support you. They can support you to remain healthy in your pregnancy and prepare for labour and birth and becoming a mother. Your midwife will assess your baby's health, growth and position regularly through your pregnancy. They can answer any questions that you have and give you the support and advice on things like hospital bookings, what tests or scans you might need, preparing for labour and birth and breastfeeding and planning to bring your baby home. So how can a midwife help you prepare for labour and birth? Your midwife will help you make plans for labour and birth that meet your needs. Understanding your wishes and your hopes for labour and birth and then being there with you means they can support your wishes and ensure you are central to the decisions made in labour and birth. Knowing the midwife in labour and birth can be a very positive experience as the midwife is familiar with your pregnancy experiences, your family situation, your support people and hence can provide that holistic care. What postnatal care do midwives provide? In a continuity of care model, you have support from your midwives for up to six weeks after your baby's born, as well as caring for you and your baby immediately after the birth. This care is individualised and tailored to your needs. They can help you with feeding and settling your baby, so you get consistent advice that's right for you. They will also help you with adjustment to parenthood showing you how to bath your baby, change nappies and carrying out routine health assessments and newborn screening. How can we help prevent those unnecessary interventions? In our work at Griffith University, we're researching how to avoid unnecessary interventions by better assessing the risk factors. If we can better assess these risks, then interventions can only be undertaken on women who are at higher risk of certain conditions. And this in turn will decrease interventions for healthy women. So an example of this is the induction of labour. We know that induction increases the risk of needing an epidural, a forceps, a vacuum or a caesarean section, and also results in a less positive experience for women. Induction rates are climbing and therefore it's really important to only induce women who absolutely require this type of intervention. So we're testing a digital clinical decision support tool that both mothers and health professionals can use. Women and health professionals enter their characteristics into the tool as well as scan results, test results and blood pressure and receive a personalised risk of their assessments. This is really helpful for a clinician to see if interventions might be needed and helpful for the woman as it gives them the same information but in a language that's easy to understand. This enables the woman to make decisions that are right for her.